it just happened on a painting where the mouth of a figure, because I usually have these faces. The faces are usually very noncommittal. I wouldn't say they're like robots at all. I hope they're not. But they're like uh, people who are feeling things, but they're not telling you what they are. You know, they're kind of very reserved. They're very reserved, and they just usually have a straight line for a mouth. And uh, and I uh, so sometimes I'll just make the mouth by just drawing the line. But sometimes I'll cut a little strip of black and put it on there. Well, I cut the strip of black and put it on there, and I cut it too long, so it came out as a smirk, and it was so funny, and my husband came in, and we were both just laughing at it, and I said, well, but I can't leave it like that, you know, because I never have expressions on people's faces, they're always just, you know, non-committal um, expressions, so so it's, that's still on there, I don't know if it'll stay there, but it's, I still laugh when I, when I look at it, because it just, it's a very, serious figure sitting there and he has this little his mouth is just long enough where it looks like he's smirking at the at us i think that they're expressive i hope they're expressive actually but i, I mean i think they're expressive in in what i would consider a truthful way that is to say i don't consciously decide what i want them to express so when they look right, you know, it's sort of like a yes and no thing. When they, because I do spend a lot of time on even just faces um, and the head and the shape of the head and the character of the head and the gesture and all of that. Um, but it's what looks right, what looks right. And what looks right is always psychological and quote formal, visual. Those things are, can't be torn apart. They're just simultaneously, yes or no, yes, you know. So, uh, when, but I don't walk around the world looking at it as potential art. 